Hello all my Golden Hill Eagles. It's me, Mrs. Smullen. Hope you haven't forgotten this face here. If you can believe it, it's our last art lesson, official art lesson of the school year. I have missed all of you so much and I know that it's been some pretty crazy times being at home, being with whoever it is you are with day in and day out with them helping you with schoolwork not being able to go and see your friends. I know it, I know my kids have been struggling with that and me too. Some of you may not have been, have may not been able to see family. I know same here. I have not been able to see my mom and dad since Christmas and I look forward to the time when I get to be with them again. And I, and I get that it's been some trying times and I know there's just a lot going on around us right now. So I thought for our last art project of the year, I want to share with you a very special special story um, and, um, and then have us do some special creating together. This week we're going to be focusing on what makes us unique, what makes us special, what makes each of us different from one another, but those differences are what make us who we are and the special people that we are. So I want to share with you um, a story. And then I want you to make sure you check out um, my Google Slides that explain this week's project. Um, I really want you to take some time to think about who you are and those special things that make you um, the special person that each of you are and those special kids that I miss seeing every day and what make me love my job. Um, so here is a story. Uh, sit back, enjoy, listen, maybe even find an adult to sit down and listen to it and discuss it with you afterwards as well. And uh, I continue to miss all of you. I look forward to seeing you in the fall. I will miss all my fourth graders that won't be coming back to Golden Hill, but please make sure you come and stop by and see me um, at some point up the hill, if you're gonna be down the hill at Nettle. Um, but with that, sit back, let's have some fun. One final week creating together. Um, and I look forward to seeing the special art that you create um, that really showcases what makes you the special person that you are. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I have this fantastic story that's called It's Okay to Be Different. The And the illustrator is the person who creates the artwork to go with it. So Todd Parr um, writes many different stories and today we're going to talk about it's okay to be different. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. It's okay to need some help. It's okay to have a different nose. It's okay to be a different color. It's okay to have no hair. It's okay to have big ears. It's okay to have wheels. It's okay to be small, medium, large, extra large. It's okay to wear glasses. It's okay to talk about your feelings. Grr, grr, roar. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. It's okay to say no to bad things. It's okay to come from a different place. 
Jimmy's freaking reserver. It's okay to be embarrassed. It's okay to come in last. Finish. It's okay to dance by yourself. It's okay to have a pet worm. It's okay to be proud of yourself. It's okay to have different moms. It's okay to have different dads. It's okay to be adopted. It's okay to have an invisible friend. It's okay to do something nice for someone. It's okay to lose your mittens. It's okay to get mad. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. It's okay to make a wish. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. Love, Todd. But I must say that I even want to say love Mrs. Small because that is true. It is okay that you are different. Each and every one of you, my students, are very different and that's what makes you all so very special. If you enjoyed this story as much as I do. The author, there's a little bit about him here. His name is Todd Parr and he's an author of more than 40 books for children as well as Emmy nominated animated television show Todd World, which I haven't checked out. Maybe I'll have to check out that television show. It says he lives in Berkeley, California and I'll zoom in a little bit here. This is the author and the illustrator right there. Looks like he's got a couple of dogs. And here's a list of some other stories that he has created. So again, Todd Parr. I hope you have enjoyed this story as much as I do. And again, this week, I want you to choose a way to create a piece of art that shows me you, what makes you special. So make sure you check out the Google slide that goes along with this that gives you a little bit more explanation and some examples of ways to create your last art project of this school year. I miss you all. Be safe, be well, and know that I love each and every one of you for who you are, your uniquenesses, your special differences. Take care.